So I want to go to uh, another Iowa voter, Ruth House from Urbandale, the president of um, Living History Farms, an agricultural museum. She's also worked on Republican campaigns and in George H.W. Bush's administration. Ruth. Thank you for being in Iowa so often already. We appreciate it. We're going to keep on coming back. My question is, please share your views and approach to U.S.-China relations and its impact on trade for Iowa farmers. Great question. So China, without question, is our number one national security threat. And let's go back in history. For too long, Republican and Democrat presidents thought that if they were nice to China, China would want to be like us. That's narcissistic. China, bless you. China does not want to be like us. They want to be communist China. We have to change the way we treat them. So if you know that, let's look at where China is now. They've built up their military. They have the largest naval fleet in the world. They have more air defense systems than we do. They just came out with a fifth generation fighter jet. Had they do it by stealing our intellectual property that we handed them on a silver platter. They steal $600 billion worth of intellectual property from us every year. President Xi started a commission that he personally chairs that says any company that does business in China has to cooperate with the Chinese military. Think about our tech companies. Think about all of our financial data. Think about all of your health care data. Think about your children's lifestyle data. And now know that the Chinese military has all of that. President Xi has said whoever owns the data owns the world. And that's why they're sending spy balloons. That's why they're buying up 400,000 worth of acres worth of farmland near our most sensitive military installations. That's what they're doing. Now, having said that, how do you deal with China when you know we've got an economy that's so intertwined. You do it through a national security lens, strictly through a national security lens. So I don't care if Americans buy t-shirts and light bulbs from China any more than I care if the, if the Chinese buy agricultural products from our farmers. I welcome that. What I do care about is if it's a national security risk. When you saw we had COVID, they told you to put on a mask. The masks were made in China. They told you to take a home COVID test. You turned it over, it was made in China. You go down to your local drugstore, all those medicines are made in China. What I, bless you, what I will focus on is when, we, when I become president, the very first day you look at it and say, if China pulled the rug out from under us tomorrow, would we be ready? Would we be safe? That's what we need to do. So I don't want us exporting any tech equipment to them. I want us to make sure we're focused. And by the way, for our farmers, I don't want our farmers to just sell to China. I will be their ambassador. In South Carolina, when I was governor, I sold South Carolina to everyone. I will sell our Iowa farmers and all of their products to Japan, to Australia, to South Korea, to Israel. We can sell it to other countries. So